Hey everyone, it's Adam, coming at you. Today we are uh, deviating from our normal routine. This is pretty sweet. It, I mean, I've had this trip planned for a while. We've been uh, waiting for it to come. It's finally here, and it is awesome. Just to give you an idea of what's going on, Check this out. There's my boat. Check this out. Any idea where we're at? Now we are camping, but the thing that's special is that we are camping on an island up on the St. Lawrence River in Chippewa Bay along the St. Lawrence Seaway. This island is only accessible by boat. There's no bridges, there's no ferries. You have to bring your, all your stuff out and uh, it's sweet. There's our campsite right there. And this is the view. Is this awesome or what? So, like I said, this is, uh, isn't something that we normally do. I try to come up here a couple times a year, but this is my first time staying on the island. So, it is. We're so glad to be up here. Uh, it's me and my friend Dustin. You guys have never seen him before as far as I'm I can remember so but yep it's definitely gonna be a good time we are up here for five days so I'm gonna be doing a lot of fishing a little bit of boating and uh, hopefully catch some fish maybe I'll show you how to fillet some but it's gonna be a good time I would have brought the camera out earlier when we got here but it was pouring rain for a couple hours and it finally died out so all right well i'm gonna cast a line see if i catch a few and uh go from there This is a Cedar Island State Park, site number 16. You got yourself two tables. Nice little smooth spot right there to put a tent. We are staying on site 15. Right along the water, this is your view that you would have. Look at that. It's awesome. It's been raining here for the past three days. This is our first dry morning that we got up. Our site 17. Kind of small. It's probably where one of those tables came from over there. But this is 4th of July weekend and there's only three or four campsites that are booked on, on the whole island so and we are in site 15 this is site 15 here Got the tent screen tent fireplace a little private dock This is site 14. It's okay, it's if you had a small tent, you would be fine. But anything more than two or three people, it's really rocky, uh, bumpy, so you can't really uh, uh, have a smooth spot. And it's a, it's all it's all a hill 
there's no real flat spot. But if they're booked up and you want them to stay here and you don't have a choice, and this is the trail that goes to the other side of the island where the uh, bathrooms and the gazebo is. This is here looking by the toll booth. There it is. You got the uh, big docks down there. There's a campsite right there. There's a little bay. This is on the other side of the island. There's the gazebo. It's pretty sweet. I'm not sure what's that. Oh, this is site number four. But the guy told us this isn't a good site because of all the water. See all the water there? Site number three. Got a nice little flat spot there. We can overlook the ocean here. Or the ocean, the river. All right, we're walking up the trail from the toll booth that goes to the bathrooms. And there's some campsites around here also. There's campsite seven over there. Yeah, six right here. Yeah, site eight right here, which is a nice open field overlooking the bay. And then, I'm not sure, oh, sorry, right there, what is that? Looks like nine, site number nine. So, it's not bad. The only thing is, is you can't book a site per se. You can't really book a site you need to book a reservation on the island. When you get here, it's kind of like first come, first serve, and you go where you want. Pretty neat. This is the bathrooms. There's a flushable toilets, cold water only, no showers. Of course, our last day at Cedar Island State Park and this is the morning that we wake up to never fails the nicest day is always the day that you're leaving well we're gonna enjoy it while we can beautiful